Hey guys, it's Chuck Grove with Foraging Truth. I am back out in one of my ramp spots that is on private ground. And I have no worries about digging ramp bulbs out of the ground early in the season or any time in the season really because this whole bottom is completely covered with ramps. It goes out around the hill, down over, goes around the back side of the ridge, and keeps going. So, we have more ramps than what we possibly could use on this property ever. Uh, it doesn't mean we just come back here and just start digging them. We always dig them by the roots. Well, you know, why dig them all out by the root when you can take and cut the greens off and leave the bulb in the ground for next year? that easy so you can go ahead and use the greens to spice your dishes so you guys know what they look like when they're really young we're gonna do a, another video when the ramps or bears garlic or wild onions whatever you want to call them are way more mature and they're a lot more spicy and we're gonna be out here eating them in the woods it's one of my favorite things to do anyway um, so Let's look at the, what the plant looks like. You can definitely see how it has this oniony wrapper that's right there. That's how it's segmented, you know, like just like a regular, like a chive or another onion. But the leaves come out of each other. They come out of a roll. One leaf is coming out of the other set of leaves. Now these two leaves will get longer and there'll be a little thin stem holding them to where the base is. But again, you can't mistake that smell. Um, if you're digging bulbs out of the ground that you think are ramps and you smell them and for some reason they do not smell like onions, you do not have a ramp, I would not eat what you just dug out of the ground. So, do a little bit of processing here since we're just kind of out in the woods waiting for you know the mushrooms to take off and again this is a salt water mix I use like a tablespoon to 15 ounces so it's like really like a cleaning mixture just get these somewhat damp spray off some of the dirt like you would in the sink but ramps have this fibrous material around their bulb. If you remove that fiber or slide that fibrous material down, it'll show you where the bulb is on the plant. And then this is the root section right there. So go ahead and cut that off. I always pull down. and then slice that section off. It's a really woody section. I mean, it's, it's tough to uh, try to chew. Remember, this is early in the season, so there's not really much of a bulb, per se, on that, but the greens are definitely really good. They're all, the whole plant is edible, except for, like I said, these root structures are very, very woody. You'll hurt your teeth before you get any real nourishment. You'll be suffering from mouth pain. So, now that I have muddy fingers, Try to clean some of that off. So, salt, it's been being used for thousands of years to cleanse, to keep things sanitized, and back in the days of the Romans, 
they were actually, Roman soldiers were paid with salt, weights of salt. So the Bible actually says we're supposed to be the salt and the light of the world. And salt that loses its flavor should be thrown out, cast out of the house, and uh, trampled underneath the feet of men because it has no more usage. So we want to make sure that we stay salty in the right biblical stance. So, guys, fun season's up pretty good. I'm going to give one to my camera guy. He's probably going to taste it but not you know, like eat it too much because mm. he's uh, he has a problem with onions. You can still be my friend, maybe. The whole thing is completely edible, guys. And that salt actually adds a little bit of flavoring to the onion. It's really good. Delicious. Fresh, young, right from the ground. More than you could possibly eat in a lifetime, probably. And they're just starting to poke up, like right here by the tree. There's some coming up. Then over there. But when these things come up, it'll be a blanket of green across this bottom. Awesome thing to have right, right in my backyard. I'm very blessed. So guys, bear's garlic, ramps, wild onions, my breath is going to be absolutely horrible after this video. I can smell it coming out of my nose. Really potent guys when you're young. So. Get out there, get in the woods, find some ramps, use all of your senses to be able to tell what they are, look at the leaf pattern so you know it. That center fold is real easy to, to see. Real smooth, you can kind of tell it's like an onionish plant. If you guys like the video, forge the like button, stick it in the subscribe basket, and ring the dinner bell. We should all be foraging every day. So keep foraging. Yeah.